I'm Charlie Ashton here at the ITRI booth in Mobile World Congress. I'm here with my colleagues Paul from Advantech and Jimmy from ITRI. A couple of years ago, MEC stood for Mobile Edge Computing. And then the Etsy Working Group was formed to work on the API standards. And they concluded that actually the concept was much broader than mobile networks and also applied to, my, to wired networks. So now MEC stands for Multi-Access Edge Computing. The good news is that everybody that got t-shirts two years ago saying MEC can keep those t-shirts because the acronym is still valid. MEC is all about moving data and applications from the cloud to the edge of the, of the network. And it's very important for service providers because it enables them to launch new kinds of services that appeal to new kinds of customers and therefore boost their revenue opportunities. But no company has all of the technology themselves to put together a complete end-to-end -end solution for MEC. That's why at Wind River, we've partnered with companies like Advantech and ITRI to work together on a validated, integrated end-to-end -end solution that's ready for deployment by service providers who are wanting to take advantage of this new business opportunity. So with that as a little bit of background, Paul, let me start with you. Can you please uh, talk a little bit about what, is, what technology has Vantech brought to this MEC solution? And, and what are some of the, the, the unique differentiators that you have in your products that apply here? Sure. Uh, well, I think really from a, a, an MEC perspective or an edge cloud perspective in general, uh, there are uh, different constraints typically than in, uh, in a hyperscale uh, data center. Um, a lot of this equipment at the edge is also going to get uh, deployed in brownfield sites. And there is a lot more constraints and environmental issues in those, uh, in those sites themselves. So the Packet RMX LC platform is a carrier grade blade server. Uh, it's 400 millimeter uh, deep. So that's extremely good for uh, edge uh, applications where there are constraints from a, uh, an installation perspective uh, at edge sites or at cell sites. It's uh, NEBS compliant, NEBS level three compliant. It's a highly available platform with redundant switches and redundant uh, uh, CPU blades. And effectively, uh, it will run in the most rugged of environments. So if we're looking to replace equipment or add to equipment in a brownfield site, uh, it's ideal for that. Well, thanks very much, Paul. So, Jimmy, could you talk a little bit about what ITRI has provided into this solution? And again, your differentiators that, that make this so valuable and useful for service providers. Our ITRI's iMac uh, is, is, is installed in this powerful machine with the Wind River uh, Titan Cloud and the VI Playful. And uh, we cooperated with the Wind River Titanic Cloud form uh, with the uh, OpenStack API. And we provide a better uh, user interface for the uh, service provider to deploy the service on the uh, Wind River Titanic Cloud. And we currently, we deploy the video call server, streaming server developed by ourselves on the Wind River. And another is the Trend Micro security VNF function on the Wind River platform. Well, thank you, Jimmy. That, that's very impressive. So at Wind River, our part of this solution is the virtualization software platform called Titanium Cloud. Titanium Cloud enables a, an MEC deployment to achieve the level of uptime that carriers need, while at the same time guaranteeing the low latency response that's so critical for a lot of the edge applications. But as I said, we can't do it by ourselves. We rely on collaboration with our partners. So I want to thank Paul and Jimmy for their participation and their hard work with us on putting together this end-to-end this -end solution. So now that we've given you an overview of this MEC solution, if you'd like to get more information or if you'd like to actually get a hands-on trial of some of this technology, we recommend that you go to the Advantech website. Advantech has a portal that they host that's open to any users who want to go on there and basically test drive a virtual CPE installation running on the Titanium Cloud virtualization software, all hosted on the, in the Advantech data center. So if you're interested in actually trying out some of these products that we've been talking about, we suggest that you would go to the Advantech website and try that.